that you, that you was raised so dumb to think that I was saying that Snoop Dogg died. Are you retarded? Get out of my Instagram blog now for even saying something so stupid and not making any sense. It makes no sense at all. saying that Snoop Dogg, out of all people, the rapper died. Really? Y'all truly believe that's what I was trying to say? Yeah, leave the dog's food alone, please. You better not put your hand in this oven or you out your brain. But yeah, man, I'm not I'm off that. Whatever, whatever y'all trying to say, I'm off that. I wouldn't even think about that, honestly. It's not all about that whole situation because it's so stupid. It's like retarded. That's the life we live in, man. A world full of, full of idiots that don't know what they're talking about. They just like being ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Yo. <laughs> The amount of people that be on my Instagram live that probably are scared to come outside be on the Instagram talking crazy. You see the dumb stuff they be writing? I'll shoot you. <laughs> yo, I swear, sir, yo, this Instagram stuff will be having me dying, bro. <laughs> But half the time, dude is probably from Idaho, never even been in nowhere. Come here, Mia. But yeah, good morning, everybody. Jack Boy Z, you're a lame. that that nothing that y'all talking about is, is honestly something I was even thinking about in life like real th I'm not blocking nobody I want them to come here and talk all their ignorance cause they're never gonna show their face anybody that's gonna show that's gonna talk ignorance don't look Jack Boy Z look putting up green water looking guns ain't nobody got time for that bro like Let's see, let's see, let's look at your page. You probably have, you probably follow more people than you have followers. You probably have no pictures up of yourself. It's probably all memes and dumb stuff. Do I think the world is flat? I have no, I have no opinion on the world. I don't know. Alright. Alright. But I will tell you that the world is retarded. Like, see what I'm saying, Jack Boy Z? You're a guy that we call, we call you a troll, bro. You're not like a real person in life. You have no meaning in life. You know what I'm saying? You just troll. That's your meaning in life. You like, you. I'm probably not the only person that you um troll. You know what I'm saying? You probably troll everybody because you're just a troll. You're one of them lame troll dudes that um. Just lame. Like, you live under a bridge, bro. You're a troll, bro. That's it. Like, no, trolls don't get no love around here. You're not from no 1800 nothing, bro. <laughs> get get out of here with your, with your lies, bro. Get out of my life. I don't want to be in no Patterson trap, Paula. I'm good. Come to Queens, I'll bring you to the trap with me. What you talking about? Come to Patterson. Tip. I've been to Patterson. I got friends in Patterson. Paula, come.
come to Queens, man. Come see how we do over there. Been to Patterson plenty of times. Come here, mama. Let's take off your shoes. Yeah. Took off the shell toes. So my hair is not done today, but it's okay. She's trying to watch her show and I'm bothering her. Sorry, Mia, here. Go watch your show. Come on, take off your hoodie first. It's hot. Have you been to Milwaukee? No, you know what's so crazy? I'm going to Milwaukee next weekend. That's the funny thing you asked me. It's funny you ask me that question about Milwaukee because um, I'll be in, in Milwaukee next weekend. Actually, from Friday to Sunday, I'll be um, shooting some videos. I think I'm doing an um, autograph signing at a store, and I'm doing, like, two clubs there. So, um, yeah, I've never been to Milwaukee, but next weekend will be my first time in Milwaukee. So anybody in Milwaukee, link up. I don't know nobody in Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for features in Milwaukee, if you're looking for me to host your party in Milwaukee... Um, anything. I'm here. I've been to Boston a couple times. I've hosted a couple parties in Boston. I did Bijou Lounge a couple times, too. Mammoth Mall? Nah, I've never been there, but that sounds like somewhere in Jersey. Knox, you know, you know how this how this life go be. I be seeing you at the crib with your kids and chilling, man. You know, gotta gotta clean up sometimes, wash the dishes. Especially when you're just chilling. Yeah, but yeah, I'll be in Milwaukee, Miss B. So, you know, if, if you see that I'm going to be at any clubs or anything out there, come show love, come su come support. We're going to be definitely in Milwaukee. We're in Milwaukee heavy. We'll be there from, I'll be there from June 9th to June 11th. Keep that date in mind. I'll be at a couple clubs in Milwaukee. I'm not sure what the hot clubs are, but they told me I'm coming to the... The hottest clubs in Milwaukee. Who that, Co-Ice? Get out of my life, Co-Ice. Laughing. Ain't nothing funny, Co. Ain't nothing funny. You don't hit me up. You don't link me. Co don't link me. The real young kids. What's the word? Yeah, Destiny Santana. She was... That's a cool little, little homie. She definitely cool. I met her when I was on tour. Get up, Mia. Mia, that's not for you, is it? So get out of there, please. Barnett, what's going on? Tell Jamal I said, uh, tell my Jamal I said, what up? Family. co you know. You know the word, too. You know how it is be when you got to watch your daughter sometimes. You got to do the housely, housely duties at times. You know what I'm saying? Comes with it. <laughs> no, you laughing at me? You laughing at me like, ha, ha, you being a, a stay-at-home dad today. I ain't even see what you said, the real baby, Serena. I'm not trying to not answer people. been to Seattle. I'd like to go. Sounds like it would be 
Sounds like it will be fun. But yeah, man, I'll be in Milwaukee next weekend, Friday to Sunday, June 9th to June 11th. Be on the lookout for that if anybody's from Milwaukee. Uh, excuse me, in this Instagram live. Okay, real young kids, we'll hit my DM. Let's make it happen. I hear what you got working with. Maybe we can get a feature going on or something to help you out. And um, let's make it happen. I work with prices, so I ain't tripping. I'm in New York from Charlotte. It was a great spot to be. I mean, there's a lot of great spots to be in New York. I really don't know what part of Elijah Wan, love. I'll see you in what? A week, two weeks, next week, something like that. I'm up for another joint. Um Yeah, what was I gonna say in New York, it depends on what you like to do. I mean, I don't even know what part of New York you're in, but there's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, send it my way. The email is bookjojo simmons one at yahoo.com or you can just DM me and you'll probably get an answer back from me right away in the DM emails. It's not guaranteed you're gonna answer from me. Most of the time you're gonna answer from me, but I do have people that are in my email handling Handling the business some of the time So you might not always hear from me Okay, so if you're in Queens um, Go to Jamaica Avenue, go shopping um, um, Go get you some good Jamaican food Or um, go to the mall Queen Center Mall Or Green um, Green Acres Go to Green Acres Or go to Roosevelt Field in Long Island There's a lot of stuff to do uh, How long ago did you move to Queens? Come here, Mia Oh, oh, I'm telling Instagram Live how you being bad. Oh, oh. Yeah, the Coliseum. See, she knows what you're talking about. Oh, Dino or Latina. Teliano know what you're talking about. Hit the Coliseum. If you, if, you, if you live in the Queens now, hit that Coliseum. Southern Girls is a good spot. There's a good food spot for soul food on 219 in Merritt. That's a good spot, but go to the Smokehouse on Linden. Over there on Linden. Go to Smokehouse. That's the spot right there. Oh, they ain't hear me. That's the spot right there. You feel me? Okay, Howard Beach in the building. That's what's up. That's Queens. That's like another part of Queens, but that's Queens. I got you some stuff, Mia. Here. Here's your toys. Here, look, Mia. How old is your baby girl? My baby girl is one. One years old. Who I got tonight? <laughs> Golden State. In Golden State, I got Golden State. That's just how I feel. Definitely got Golden State in Golden State. It just makes sense to me. But you never know what can happen. LeBron, that's a different type of animal right there. That's a different type. Who I got for the series? I got Golden State. I got Golden State in five to six games. They might go seven games. I'm not here to say they won't, but I'm just thinking my opinion. Golden State in five to seven games. They lost last year. It's understandable they lost last year. It happens. Don't get it 
twisted. I'm not a Golden State fan or a Cavs fan. I'm a Knicks fan, as you can see my hat. I'm a Knicks fan. So, only reason I really don't have nobody to vote, vote for in the playoffs or in the finals because my team's never in the doggone finals. It's not that I have no faith in LeBron. I'm not a fan of LeBron. If I was a fan of LeBron, I'd root for LeBron, but I'm not a fan of LeBron. And it's not that I don't think he's a talented player. Just not my type of player that I, you know, I think that people overrate. But once you start overrating somebody, you make me not like them. Mm. Once you make me not like them, then that's it. It, 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 it is what it is. Hey, Mia. Where do you think Miller going next season? I don't know. Honestly, I can't even call that one. Melo, the way it sounds like Melo wants to be loyal, it sounds like he wants to stay in New York, but if he wants to win, he got to get out of New York. He got to get out of New York. LeBron didn't beat, LeBron beat Michael Jordan's playoff points record, and first of all, LeBron has played way more games and minutes than Michael Jordan missed. Quetaya, I mean, let me just give you stats real quick. Le LeBron has played more games than Michael Jordan played. You forgot Michael Jordan left the league for two years, where he probably would have got two more rings. Le think about it. Bro Michael Jordan really would have been an eight-ring player, but he left the league for two years, and he let Houston go get some chips, if you, if you don't remember. If y'all really want to talk about LeBron beat Jordan, no, LeBron didn't beat Jordan, nothing, because Jordan didn't play as long as LeBron. Jordan took two years off, left, then came back to the Wizards when he was 40. He left twice. Twice. So you mean to tell me, if Jordan wouldn't have left, he would have been at probably eight to ten rings. Think about it. He left twice. 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 And still came back when he was 40 years old with a bad Washington team and was still averaging about 20-something points a game. I don't want to hear about LeBron did nothing over Michael Jordan. Y'all crazy, man. I didn't say LeBron is his own player. I don't compare them. They're two different players. Michael Jordan is a shooting guard. LeBron is a small power forward. So how could you compare? Le Jordan was a scorer. LeBron is a facilitator. Now, if you really watch ball, I'm going to tell you the truth about it. LeBron is a great player. Any player LeBron plays with, he makes better. We understand that. But Jordan was an offensive killer. An assassin. A guy that knew how to win. LeBron knows how to win, but he knows how to win with a team. He knows how to win with teammates. He knows how to win by giving the ball to the right person like Kyrie Irving. See, Jordan at the end of the game, he wants the ball in his hands. Yeah, he has a Scottie Pippen. He has a Steve Kerr. He has all these players that can make plays from a Tony Cool coach. But Jordan wanted that ball in his hand because he wanted to win. He wanted, If they lost, he didn't want to blame it on nobody else but himself. So like I said, they're two different people. They're two different, total two different people. Like, LeBron is totally different. LeBron is, came, has, has, is okay with coming to the fact that he's not Michael Jordan and that he doesn't care to be Michael Jordan. He doesn't need to be the, the, the guy that hits the winning shot. He knows that Kyrie Irving might be better under pressure. And it's cool. If I'm in the park and there's a team winning and I come in the pickup game, and they asked me to get on the team. If I have an opportunity to play with the best team in the park, of course I'm going to play with the best team in the park. So I don't get mad at LeBron, Kevin Durant, none of those people that go join good teams. If you're in the park, you want to win, right? So what does it make a difference if you're playing for something so much bigger on a higher level? You're playing for a championship. Of course I want to win. I don't want to play with people that I can't win with. I've been trying it with for six years. you got to switch it up. People get their own decisions in life. What are you doing, man? I don't even know what she's doing, y'all. Let me go check on the bacon. Well, that's enough playoff talk, finals talk. It's June 1st, it's a new month. Um, and, and make it a good month, just like you made last month. Make it a great month. You know what I'm saying? And um, enjoy the NBA Finals tonight. Maybe while I'm watching it, I'll do some Instagram Live. And um, we'll enjoy it together. So I'll see y'all a little bit later. Once again, before I, I leave out, if you look for any feature verses, hold